what's going on good people in today's video here for vampire i'm gonna give you guys a few tips on this mission a journey to the past so with them on let's get started so you can acquire this mission by accessing the reeds mansion showing you guys exactly where it's at on the map but when you make your way to this area make sure you go to the second floor the resting area inside the mansion search this room for the small key and once you acquire the key man make your way down this hallway over here then bank this left and then we'll be able to utilize the key on this doorway right over here now what we need to do man is search the area on the left hand side so we got these items over here on the left and right here on this table we got this piece of paper if we read the paper it's the first piece of the letter which will then initiate the mission a journey to the past so we got that new investigation right there so that's where the first piece is at man the second piece can be acquired once you make your way more towards the western side of the map I'm gonna show you guys exactly where we're at on the map though but what you want to do man is cross this bridge and head off into this corner where we see this light and then to the left of the light we got this box that's shining this little light of mine but as you can see right here man we're to the west side of, of Whitechapel and if you go directly north from where the hint indication is on the map don't really do much good but just head north from that place as you can see we're straight up off in the cut area right over there so then when you're ready man access the contents of the box right there and that'll be the second piece that we acquired the third piece can be found in two different locations possibly depending on what's going on when we're inside Pembroke Hospital so if we head left by the staircase right here and inside this area right over here man um, you can find the third piece it just depends I think the third piece is randomized I'm not too sure if it is in another location but I found it to be in two different locations so zoom in just a little bit more to show you exactly where it's at inside Pembroke Hospital so that's one place where it can be at the other place where it was at in this vid right here is we need to head to the top floor so head to the left make your way down to Jonathan Reed's office and to the right of the office we have this like storage area so that's the office right there and to the right of the office we got the storage area and there is the third piece man so it can either be downstairs to the left of the staircase in that little room right there or it can be upstairs right here just depending on how um, what happens I guess and how it's randomized in your playthrough so that's the third piece of the letter right there man so once we have acquired all the pieces we need to head south now if you have trouble trying to figure out exactly how to get to this place man head north from the pub where we see Edwina Cox an old buddy over there man make your way off in this direction and this is near your safe area your safe room man so head towards this direction right over here then we got this psycho dude Seymour right there and then over on the left we have this staircase that we could take and then head all the way back down south man so head up this staircase right here go inside you could search the area might find some useful stuff and then head all the way down here man and then once you head all the way down um you'll eventually come outside and then head left when you make your way outside teleport up here then go into this room over here then go up the stairs and then off on the left into this room is where the safe is at now we can access the safe and complete the mission showing you guys where it's out on the map as you can see we made our way all the way south and we're now able to access the safe got ourselves an expensive watch with which is uh, Jonathan Reed's father's watch and you should be good to go man on the side note you could give the watch to the butler at the crib at the reeds mansion man get some additional dialogue options man but uh, other than that i don't think there's anything of significance that you can do man maybe somebody can let me know in the comments below uh so folks that is pretty much that man i just wanted to give you guys this walkthrough video on vampire showing you guys this mission a journey to the past let me know what you guys thoughts on the comments below as always i appreciate the support and whether they're fellas man i guess i will see you guys in the next video